<sighs> Temple grounds. Ugh, it's been since last Wednesday, for Christ's sake. Sorry, guys, but, um... It's been a while, I know, but that's because, um... I've been rather busy, and I just entered a new term in school. But I didn't even say my intro. Hey guys, Sergeant Mario 101 here. Welcome back to more Metroid Prime 2. In the last episode, we, uh... Encountered some doppelganger of me, apparently. And entered some altered world. We were sent here to end this planet, Ether, I think it's called, not Ether, um, to, uh, help out with some problems that some Galactic Federation troops apparently are having. But we still don't know what's happened. Wait, yet yeah, we've seen a lot of dead, dead ones. And ones being taken over, like the ones we just fought. And I actually said in the first episode, Let's Play Metroid Prime 2, I should have said, Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Yep, that's the full name of the game. This is Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Yeah. So sorry about that. Elevator, if, you, if you're a Metroid fan, you obviously know what how elevators work. In fact, you should know how elevators work in general. But yeah, like I was saying, people, I'm sorry that I haven't, like, updated this Let's Play at all for, like, the last week. It's because I've been very busy in school and I started a new term. Like, literally on the same day that I uploaded that. That was, like, the end of the third term I'm in. I, w I was in. I'm in term four now at my school. Ah. Perfect! Recording to logbook. Love it when it says that. What are those? Ooh. Yeah, at least we don't have to go over there. I stand corrected. I spoke too soon. Another one of those doors. Really? Come on, malfunction? Seriously? What are those? Green Carly? Crowley? I don't know. <sighs> Stupid translating crap. Jeez, I'm, I'd have a... I'd have an easier time translating Japanese, for Christ's sake. I wish I could translate Japanese. Then I've been making so many fan translations out the ass. Like the Fire Emblem games, Metal Slatter Glory. Ugh. There'd be so many games I could fan translate if I knew how to translate Japanese. But, unfortunately, I don't have the time to learn Japanese. How to speak it or to read it. I just don't have the time. I think Haley's losing it. He he talks to himself all the time and he won't sleep. He almost shot me on watch the other night. I think he thought I was one of those things. I talked to the doc about taking him off the line and he told me we need all the help we can get. That's true, but if he goes berserk and kills a bunch of us, that won't be very helpful. Who's Ailey? Haley, Hallie, I don't know. What the 
hell? Nice welcoming. Temple grounds. Pretty epic place. I love the music here. I absolutely love it. It just sounds like music, like you'd solve for like a, pu a big puzzle. Maybe even like around in a labyrinth area, labyrinth area, something like that. That's just what I think of when I think of this music. Just like a big puzzle you gotta solve. Hmm. Ooh. Splinter. You aggressive, right? Ow. Ow. Hmm. What... what is that? Ah, Blashyard. How could I forget about those? Oh, well, yeah, it's been two years since I've... <sighs> ...been in action. But I don't have any missiles. And the charge beam won't do anything. Oh, I love how the blast just bounces right back. It's like that... That reminds me of that one room in the Magmore Caverns, the elevator area. Where it requires, uh, to use... use the to u you to use the wave beam. And you have to, uh, use a missile on another door to access the save point. But, yeah, don't do that. Use, a uh, regular charge hit. And just bounce back and forth, back, back and forth, back and forth. Heavy transport crate. I don't know. Oh well. When things like this happen, shoot him the fuck down. What's that? Missile expansion. You gotta scan everything. Well, we're not going back that way. More splinters. Hmm. We'll be making our stand here. The engineer tells me there's no way he'll get the ship's engines online. An atmospheric interference is scrambling our distress distress beacon. If anyone reads this, know that we did our duty and fought well. But the engineer was like, <laughs> I'll give you guys props if you know where that's from. If you guys know who I'm talking about. Uh, engineer! What the hell are you doing? What is it with the flashing sky? That's not right. Transmission. Hiya. That was definitely... That can't be no karma issue. Definitely. Something happened here. And I'm just gonna ignore you guys. <laughs> oh god. Not that thing. Not the turret. Thanks. Okay, Growler. Wish I had my freaking missiles. Yes, I know that. <sighs> oh, 
Always gotta do it the hard way, even though it's not that hard. This is ridiculous. I can outshoot half the men here, and I'm stuck on monitor duty. I didn't join up to stare at a hollow screen. This wouldn't happen if to Samus Aaron. She'd be out here there taking care of the business, not pushing buttons and sending reports. Thank you. But you're dead. I wish you could hear that. At least that guy knows what he's talking about. Really? Ow! Did I even take any damage? Wow. Hmm? Wait, is that what I think it is? That's their ship, isn't it? Baby steps, yep. This is about to be a cutscene very soon. Just letting you guys know. New lore. I'm beginning to think it was a real bad idea going down there. Reeves is right. That hive is just one of many. It's stupid to steer at Hornet's Nest, especially if you plan on sleeping under it. Suicider. Hmm. Hopefully they gave a message here. They'd be smart enough to leave one just to tell me what happened. story, bro. I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> uh, let's see what these guys have to say. God lord, this mother load of scanning. Again, the non-important stuff first. Uh, the things in blue are just, you know, okay, scan. The red things you really, really want to scan. Uh, the green things, of course, you probably know by now, are things you've already scanned. 
Although not saying blue things are not important to scan, just things such as enemies are important to scan. Let's see what these Federation troopers have to say. The Sarge says those splinters remind him of some killer bug he saw on another planet once. All I know is the things are fast and take a lot to drop. Pretty soon we'll have to go to bayonets. Everyone's low on ammo, even broad. broad. He's the st stingiest grunt I know. Broda lost the bet, so he switched watch duty with me. I figured this section is nice and safe and boring, which suits me just fine. Let those other pugs the guards the hot zone. I hold on. Hey, hold. No. I hear th them everywhere. They're coming. Can't sleep. Ever. They'll eat me. Eat. Oh, the horror. Man, I hope that this is the only breeding ground for these things. If there's more, we're in big trouble. We had a hard enough time taking that one out of commission. I almost ran out of ammo. I never run out of ammo. Hmm. Let's check out the ship. <sighs> a lot of scanning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know. We don't want to know who sit who sat in these seats. Or do we? Yeah, I scan them anyway. Door to open. Doors to open position. Open up. Here comes Samus. Who takes the map? Well, that's two maps so far, and it's only the second episode. Uh, yeah, okay, so we got some new colored doors. The red ones, you need missiles. Uh, the yellow ones, you need power bombs, which unfortunately we lost. And these areas that are in blue are basically areas that we haven't uh, explored yet. Nor basically have stepped foot in. Well, it's better than the connect, that's for sure. Ooh, another one. Last night at Chow, exit. Starts talking about some bounty hunter and how she blew up a planet full of space pirates. Me. I told her I didn't believe in fairy tales like that, and she took it personal. I find it hard to believe that one person took out an entire space pirate base, that's all. But if she wants to believe in this Samus, or Bigfoot, or Santa Claus, she can. And she's right. And she's a woman. So far, that's the only other female person I know in the Metroid series. <sighs> Imagine the team that she'd make with Samus. I just think, can you guys ever imagine Samus having a partner? Just at all. I mean, can you imagine Samus with a uh, Master Chief? Uh, I know that hasn't been <laughs> asked before. I know that's def- I'm not the first person to ask that. What if Master Chief got married with Samson and had a kid? Ugh. Missile launcher. Finally, we got the missiles back. Oh no, no cutscene for it. Whatever. What now? Hmm. Oh no, it's those things. 
dark splinters. It must be like those dark things we saw in that place with that evil Samus, whatever it was. That doppelganger. Well, at least they're gone. I didn't even have to use my missiles. And I really like to conserve my missiles. That's just me. Like, the only time I really use them is to blast doors and for boss fights. And these are your uh, ammo. Got another trooper. I'm the only one left managed to get out of the hive, but when I got to the ship, everyone was gone. Dead. I'm heading for that alien building we saw earlier. Maybe someone can help me there. Wait, something's moving down there. Hello? Oh. Is there... Are there any survivors? Oh no, not those things. Those bee things from... Are they the same enemies from Metroid Prime? Like, I don't know if these enemies are exactly the same from the first game. Like, I don't know if they're like the exact same enemies with the same name. That's the only thing I'm not sure of with these enemies that pretty much are the same. Like, combat-wise. Ah. Doot, 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 doot. <sighs> I miss my morph ball bombs. I miss back when you could just transform into a morph ball, hit a bomb. That uh, open a door and then just turn back into Samus. Oh, I hope I get my morph ball bombs back. Wait, wait, before you do anything. Okay. Now what? This. And move before those friggin' bee things come. Wasps. Hmm, what's that? Okay, then. Us. All right, elevator. Cutscene time. Of us going up the elevator. Hmm. The Great Temple. Oh, great! The Great Temple from Zelda 2. Good God! I gave up after that in Zelda 2. It's like just screw this. This may ex oh I thought it said explode for a second. Oh. Your downfall, man. Your downfall. Oh wait, wait. I've just forgot there's gonna be something here. Yep. Come on, scan him. Thank you. Sand bats. Why would they be in a place like the Great Temple? Sand bats. Hmm. Ah, save point. That is my cue to stop the episode. But wait, what's in here? Oop. 
Charge beam. Yeah. Hmm, we'll figure that out later. Anyway, let's save. Game has been saved. Anyway, Ugh, 26 minutes, that's it, okay, so, that's it for this episode, okay, so next time on Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, we're gonna continue, uh, exploring the Great Temple since we just entered it, so we got nowhere else to go, okay, we'll see what we can find, see if we can get an answer to, um, what to do now, see you guys, then.